Hey everyone, this is Mike from Adventures Over 60. Uh, today we want to talk about food and water as Julie and I are preparing for our northbound through hike uh, February 2022. Um, certainly food and water, really important items for us to talk about. To start with, we're bringing a stove with us. We're bringing a MSR. I actually have two stoves. Um, this is the MSR stove and this is a smaller one. I don't know the name of this one, but I've used them both. The MSR stove I've used a lot. I really like it. Um, it has a nice big flame area. This other one, it's the, the area for the flame is not as large, um, but it really is compact and it comes together nicely. So we're kind of up in the air which one to bring. They both attach to the uh, fuel and we're hoping to use with that um, we like a little um, hot breakfast so what our big game plan is is to take our pan uh, this is a msr as well for our hot water and from there we're hoping to have uh, tea or hot chocolate or oatmeal we like oatmeal we're gonna you can open up the packets right here in the mug put the hot water right in there and eat your oatmeal right out of that we're trying trying not to dirty things, trying to eat out of our containers as much as possible. Uh, if it's really nasty in the morning, and I say nasty, I mean rainy or snowy, we will probably just kind of get up and get going, maybe have a pot tart or a snack along the way. And when we get to a shelter a few miles down the road or what, what have you, maybe we'll cook something there. But um, that's our breakfast for lunch. We have some options. We're not totally there yet on our lunch. Um, we we like these packets of uh, chicken or tuna. They can't, these happen to be from Starkist. We like it. It tells you the calories and protein, and that's important as we get going on the trail. We like to lay those in. I'm not going to open this up, but this is a, a small little circular package of wraps. You can lay that in there and anything else that's in there. Peanut butter and jelly is always a favorite, but... That, that's going to work for us as, as far as lunch goes. Now, often we may do a zero in town or, um, or just a Nero and come out of town in the morning, but or even go into a town to resupply in the morning. When we leave town, we always want to try to bring food with us that's already prepared, maybe a, a, a subway somewhere or something from a diner. And so that can be one of our lunches on the trail as well. But we don't really have the lunch thing figured out, but we're getting there. We know our snacks are gonna be pretty traditional snacks. Um, we will probably try every type of cliff bar there is and other protein bars and eat those along the way. Um, but the really important meal for us is our uh, dinner. So these are all freeze dried backpacker meals, as you can see. Um, we've tried all of these, Packer, Backpacker's Pantry, Mountain House is probably pretty uh, pretty popular. With these, and this is what's important for us, we will be boiling the water and then, and then pouring the water right in these packets and cooking in these packets. You close it up, you wait, you stir it, and, and you'll eat right out of your packets. That's why we also like the long-handled sporks from Sea to Summit. When you're digging in there, I don't like to get my hands messy with stuff. The one thing I would want to say, though, and someone has mentioned this to me before, um, you, it says here, for example, serving two. I have to tell you that this does not mean this is enough food in here for two people. This is just the serving sizes are based on the nutritional calculations. But one of these packets is generally enough for one person. So if Julie and I are going to um, have one of these, we know that we're going to have to eat more than just what's in this packet. Maybe we'll supplement it by the ever popular uh, ramen noodles. Probably one of the most popular items on the trail. Or we can supplement it with maybe some potatoes. Inside these packets of potatoes too, you can always add things like jerky or pepperoni or whatever floats your boat. But somehow you got to get the calories, you got to get the protein. We know hiker hunger is going to kick in at one point. Um, 
And well, that'll be interesting because I everyone says we'll be eating everything in sight. I get hiker hunger just sitting on the couch. Um, so all this stuff gets stored in your bear bag or food storage bag that you have to hold up, hang up at night. So we bought our food storage bag from Hilltop uh, Packs. And I would recommend that you somehow make it unique to you, distinguish it from others, because there may be a number up in a tree. And I say up in a tree because you're going to have to throw a, uh, a cord over a branch and hang this to protect it from animals and such. So if you have something up there that is a little bit unique, you, it makes it easy for you to find it, especially first thing in the morning. So for water, Julie and I are going to be using probably the two of the most popular water filter uh, systems on the trail. I'm using the Catadine Be Free uh, system. We would go, I would go to the water source, generally a stream, fill the bladder up, screw in my top. This is actually the filter itself. Goes in there and squeeze it out and use it. Julie has the uh, Sawyer Squeeze. Now th there are two of these actually. There's a Sawyer Mini and this is, seems to be the regular one. We've been recommended to us to stay with the regular one. It doesn't clog as often, the flow is better. But here, Julie will be filling a smart water bottle and it's the same concept. Screw it on the, the, uh, the bottle and flip the top and you can either drink directly or filter it into another bottle, which you would drink on the trail. Um, so I have used the uh, Catadine a number of times. I actually, this is my second one. I actually have one, it collapses up nicely, and I put this in my fly fish fishing vest. That anytime I'm thirsty, I can just get some water from the stream, there I go. What I like about this, as you can see, is it, it will should fill up faster and easier. The mouth is uh, much larger. Now, what I'll be doing with this, I'm not, I obviously can't carry this with me f uh, on the trail. So once I fill this, I'm going to be using a Nalogene bottle. Uh, and I'll probably have a, uh, another a smart water bottle as well. But I like this because in my system and on my backpack, it fits on the side, and with that loop, I can just grab it and pull it out and keep walking. The other thing I like to, that I like is I like a Nalogene bottle with a relatively small opening. I find I, I can, can, you know, you can drink and walk at the same time with the small opening. If it's a bigger opening, it seems to splash all over. But on the other hand, once you fill this, you put your top on and you're drinking. So those are the two filters that we're going to be using. So as backup, also we're bringing some purification tablets just in case we uh, we need to. Hopefully, we'll never have to use these, but it's good to have along. Um, also, what I wanted to say is we were from time to time be supplementing some of our water with some uh, of these vitamin uh, drinks. You can there's a number on the market. Uh, Propel has some but it's good to add back some electrolytes into your water and other things that you may be missing. One last little but important fact that Julie and I have found out the hard way is please, um, we would recommend that you don't let these things freeze. Your filters are real important. We know it's gonna be some cold nights, especially starting in February. So what we're gonna do is rinse these out, put them in a baggie and put them inside our sleeping bag to keep them warm and so that they don't freeze. Uh, if they do freeze, they may not be at all effective, I and mean, we don't want we don't want that. So I hope the video helps. If you uh, would like to keep and continue to follow with us, uh, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the woods and on the water.